I'm finna sue my mama ass and y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not. Three years ago, three whole years ago, I get something on my email basically saying I have a collection that just came up on my mama credit. So I'm like, what the fuck? Collection? I'm confused. They ain't open no accounts. I ain't got shit going on. So I click on it. It's talk about people's gas. Man, you, I do have my own crib, but the gas, we don't pay gas. Like, I'm confused. Anyways, the first thing I thought about was my mama because, like, who got my mom information about calling my mom up? And I'm like, yeah. Well, it's something that came up on my credit. And it says people gas and it got your address. So I'm trying to see what's going on or whatever. So she's like, yeah, basically she had the gas in my name. Now, man, you, hold on. When I was like 17, 18, I had got some mail. And I have like, I kept the mail because it had my name on it. And I was finna open it. But then she got mad and took it to about some... Don't, it's not my meal, it got my name on it, whatever. So now I do know that she had the fuck my name. So long story short, she telling me like, she gonna go on the payment plan and start paying it very soon. Okay, cool, I'm not mad about it. As long as you gonna pay it, that's just my biggest concern. As the time went on, I don't know. It was still on my credit, so I disputed it. And one of the, the dispute reasons was like, ownership. So I disputed it for ownership because I don't own it. So after the time went past, this did drop off of my credit. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I asked her if it dropped off my credit. Not because it disputed. I thought that it dropped off my credit because she paid it, okay? Now, I have been going through a lot. And I'm trying to move. And I go and um, pay for this application, um, $65. They run my credit, all that. Boom, they decline me. Man, you know I'm at $65. And I'm confused though. Why they decline to me? For the application, they gonna tell me that I can't um reapply until next year. So I go on my credit, and I'm like, it gotta be something on my credit. I go on my credit, the fucking collection from People's Gas popped back up. What the? Fuck? So mind you, it's twelve hundred dollars worth of money on People's Gas. Okay, like that's not just a little bit. So now I'm crying my mom's eyes out because I'm irritated, I'm frustrated as hell, and now I just know she's not finna pay this. It's been three years, and you lied to that she was gonna do it. So what I do is. I text her up and I tell her like, Ma, it's been three years since you said that she was gonna pay this collection and get it took it off my credit, but you haven't started paying it at all. She blocked me. <coughs> so I ended up calling my brother. She ended up finally texting back and then she ended up saying like, um, she gonna start paying on it um next week. If she had the money, then she would have It's been three years. You ain't had twelve hundred dollars, and if you want my paper plan, you are not paying twelve hundred dollars up front. Then, long story short, she tell my ass to get off her phone. What? Like, really? So, I text back and told her, like, you always talking all that responsible stuff, but this is not responsible. And being that, you going to sit up there and leave this shit up in my name, knowing that eventually I am going to grow up and going to need to use my mother's credit. That's bogus as hell. This mom's coming back to say, oh, that's the same roof you was living on. I was up the kid. What the fuck got to do with me? So now, this is what I'm going through. This is my mother's life, and I have no other choice but to take it to court because why do people think they finna fight with me? I have to move soon. Now, which one of my mama dick riding ass friends called her up to tell her I made a TikTok about her? Now I'm on your ass, bitch, because why are you in my business, bitch? Why are you even on my TikTok? Y'all ass too overgrown. Like, y'all just messy as hell, and I came on here because I wanted to. I'm not deleting the video. I don't give how nobody feel. Nobody gave about how I feel. Why you somewhere telling her that I made a video about her? Pay the twelve hundred dollars for her, bitch. Pay the twelve hundred dollars that you soaking invested. I hate an overgrown ass bitch for real. Like, like that mother video got over hundred k views. She was gonna see it. You ain't have to call her love. She know my TikTok. I don't even be getting on here telling my business, but I made sure I got up on her to say this because monthly mad because then they feel embarrassed. Now the whole world and they friends know now I'm on some type of way. I don't go. You should have known better. I'm embarrassed too. Fuck. I can't get a crib in my name. What to do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional, and yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Woods, the DLC Keys Lit. Make sure you guys like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all think about this 
in the comment section now. Man, hit up that opulent sense, okay? Opulent sense. Link down below in the description. So, this girl cuts too much. It's, it's very unattractive. Let me tell you, when I used to cuss so much in my videos, people were like, ugh, ugh. And I got to thinking like, man, my videos aren't getting monetized because of cussing. I'm not getting the right uh, user-friendly ads because of cussing. Maybe I should stop cussing. And this is when you start to see that content creators like this, they ain't, they not making that bag that you think they is. They might get a little bit, but they not making that bag like they should be if they stop cussing. So just just a word to the wise, if you thinking or are are a content creator, you think of becoming one, or, you know, choose your words wisely. Okay. And what they say you cuss a lot is like they say it's because you don't have the vocabulary to use your words properly. Basically calling you stupid. Okay. So let's get into it, man. Now, has somebody ever put a bill in your name or ever used your name fraudulently then, you know, didn't want to pay the bill? I had a friend. Man, I had a friend. This dude, I got me a phone back when I was like 17, 18 years old. And uh, dude, he was like, man, let me get one. I'll pay the bill. I said, all right. Bro. First month went by, I didn't pay the bill. I paid the bill. Second month went by, I right, man. So after the second month, didn't pay the bill. He broke the phone. I went and got another one, and I kept the phone. These are my phones now. I'm not paying no bill for no no man. Like bro, you ain't paid two months. He, he was like, man, just let me get out, man. Let me get some numbers off the phone. No, no, them numbers, them numbers is dead, null and void. I don't care. So, you know, basically stuck me up with the bill. So then for the next two years, I was paying for two phones. And I think the number was 414-9656 or something like that. 9856. Yeah, I think it was 414-9856. That was my first number from Sprint. Um, and yeah, I got, I got stuck with the phone after that. So, needless to say, people who are able to put bills in your name or want you to put bills in your name, ask yourself, why would I put a bill in my name when you didn't pay the bills in your name? <laughs> of course, this young lady was a child and didn't know and didn't have any recollection of this stuff happening. But just know that this is a sad situation that happens to a lot of kids in the ghettos. Their parents have bad credit, their parents can't get the bills on, but they need electricity. So what do they do? They use, they use the kid's name and social security number. Unfortunately, uh, you can do all this from over the internet now. You don't have to go in in person and turn your turn these uh, appliances on. You don't have to, and so you can turn on somebody's electric without having an ID or having a person that's even over the age of 18. What you do have is a valid social security number and a valid name that matches, and boom, you got lights. Anyway, parents, get y'all life together, man. Don't keep doing the kids like this. Everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to you later. Peace.